Hey you, so on this video, buying high premium gold in the current low spot price market. I'm going to be going over a strategy that I've been doing, um, a small part of it, and displaying this recent pickup as part of that strategy. Now this pickup is the 5 proof coin sovereign set that I picked up on the secondary market now. I think it was a pretty decent deal. I'll go over all the numbers and everything because I display this, but also um, speak on as part of my strategy that I've been doing towards picking up high premium um, toward, and this current low, you know, in the current lows, I would say we're basically all year, we're looking at some of the best prices we've had all year in 2018. For those getting into stacking, it's been a fantastic time to purchase as much, you know, fill your bags and your sacks up. I've, I've done a video on that. And for those that are lifestyle, you know, long-term stackers like myself, it's also presented opportunities to get a lot more picky and, you know, rearrange the stack, be it get some of the silver pieces out if you're heavy in silver, look into picking up more silver or gold and for me one of those was getting into gold in general just increasing my gold stack not that i think anything bad of silver silver is still the one for me but you know i want to get my gold up to where my silver is we all know the, the sayings out there you know silver is the better purchase small upside potential in silver i believe all of those things but you know i wouldn't shun gold in the same at the same time i've spoke about when the time comes and individuals have to cash out it won't be as easy i personally don't believe it would be as straightforward as i show off the booklet here pause as you see fit it won't be as straightforward for individuals to maybe convert as they say so one of the strategies i've employed is looking towards picking up more high premium now that's nothing new you know my my channel we've seen high premium gold coins before some i'm keeping for the long-term stack which is technically what they all are um as with a lot of my um silver bullion pickups i've mentioned that they're to flip on for more um standard government bullion and foundation bullion but with the gold as it is what it is and i believe it's one of those ones that individuals will have no issues paying a larger premium for when the time comes i have no issues snacking gold for the long long term you know if they flip they flip i'm not going to be an individual that's going to turn down you know a potential large profit because i've got emo emotional about the coin you know for me you know making profits the name of the game and that's what i'm going to do but also you know if i'm stuck with certain pieces be it a, a series that i'm really into and i think it's got a lot more potential modern coins i'm talking about here it's no surprise or secret that i've been focusing on modern bullion coins since i've got into this you know i originally came in just i'm um, trying to secure my wealth and hedge against inflation and just you know cruised over into a lot of these modern collector coins so showing this one may be a little different although modern it's part of a long old lineage so that uh, lost where i was but you know having these coins in here and picking up these coins i feel are okay you know i have a few high premium gold pieces already in my stack that i think will do good in the long term i see a lot of potential in them whether it be the rwandan i think a lot from the rwandan boys so the me and mint so you know i've got the rwandan gold coins and the nautical gold coins that i'm going to be going along with that i'm collecting and then we have the stuff from the royal mint now for me um, as much as I bark on about their quality control, it is different with their gold. It, I wouldn't say it's drastically different because, you know, there's videos out there where guys have received <laughs> sovereigns with gashes in the cheeks and the likes of. I've spoken it before. Only they know what they're doing. You know, they they will tell you that they're doing the utmost, and you'll see a QC sticker in the box that you may unveil. But it doesn't seem to be the case. But when we're looking at stuff like the sovereigns as of recent. The 2017 sovereigns that I got involved with, I don't mind um, stacking onto these coins. I purchased a few of the Pied Fort sovereigns, the double ones, and I have the free coin premium that I done unboxings with also. These are sets I won't mind holding because, you know, it's some of the Royal Mint's finest, easily, hands down. You know, I've been done doing quite a few high premium gold purchases as the upcoming videos will show. And I think these are some of the best coins to get into purely because it's long term. Individuals are accustomed to knowing it's synonymous with quality and an individual knows that they're going to be getting into these as I unveil. Oh. 
this stunning set, you know what you're getting into. So I can get all of this out and then we'll see what we've got there as I get into that. So with these, the sovereigns that I purchased here, I'll get into the price in a moment, but I just thought it was a great opportunity. And you know, something I'm definitely gonna be holding for the long term. It does keep me anchored down, not wanting to flip these at any time or having any issues knowing that I'm holding on to them because they do appreciate. Uh, a bit of a gripe, we all know the Royal Mint, you know, as with a lot of mints and individuals selling metals at the time are going through a hard time. They're churning more out than ever. You know, here you're getting the five coins and limited 750. But with the Pied Fort Sovereigns, the 2017 the anniversary ones, it, we was under the impression it was going to be a one and only. Now, I wasn't that naive. I knew that wouldn't be the case. So they brought out a 2018 Pied Fort. It's done nothing. You know, I still have the... The other ones, have they done as great as I thought they would have? No. Um, I upset I had them? Hell no. You know, definitely ones worth holding on for the long term. We still have the um, uncertainty of what's going to happen with silver or gold spot price. And I, I know it's only going to go up in the long term, so that's good. Having a collector coin that strong in the hold, hold, hold stack is fantastic for me. So I'm going to break into these now. On this set here, when it first came out, I initially wasn't on to it, it didn't even um, gain my attention at all. I was looking more at the Pi Fort Sovereign, so you see here, so I'll quickly go over this. We've got the five sovereign in this one here. So I believe this big boy will go into. We've got the double, which is gonna be this big boy here. And then we have the sovereign, which is this one here. Where are we? We have the half sovereign, which is gonna be this one here. And then we have the quarter sovereign, which is going to be this one here. This set first came out, it was, you know, there was a lot of talk for these coins and rightfully so, the four coin, five coin ones, you get the infamous five sovs, the five pound sovereigns. This is the Bohemoths. This is the big boy. The, they did bring this out in this set here. You could only get the proof and obviously the, it was a standard BU. I done a video displaying that one. I did lock in on that one myself also, but I ended up grading that and selling it. So it did sell for a nice profit. Shout out to the individual that bought that. And I I really left that alone from there. I was stuck in on the Pi Fort Sovereigns that I have. I have a few of them graded and ungraded and just going along with those. So with this set popping its head up, now this set I believe retailed from the Royal Mint around £3,300. That's around $4,350. Um, good price, you know. Not a lot of people locked in that are on YouTube or do videos. There has been, there has been a sign of it on YouTube itself. And you know, this came out well, where we? last year around the same time, and it did shoot up in price on the secondary market. So, prices I've seen them sell for was around five thousand pounds sterling, six thousand eight hundred dollars, and upwards of six thousand pounds sterling, so around seven thousand nine hundred dollars. So, it is good, and this is raw sets we're talking here. So, I picked this one up for a little, I'd say three thousand seven hundred. So, Pound sterling as I back flip or back break this one here, and it's the double. So I picked this up for around 3,700, so around 4,500, $4, $4, dollars And it was purely because of that price point. I saw room to grow. I wouldn't have paid the current inflated price for the personal stack. It was a it was a decent good pickup for the time now. It fits perfectly into where I am. I mean, I look at this and even the five of the proof and it really, you know, it's bit, the sovereigns haven't really been my big thing. I've been more on the modern coins, but just holding this, would I'd love to backtrack and get a lot more of the exclusive sovereigns that are out. I believe the exclusive dates are the 1989. Absolutely love that design, but I can't bring myself to pay that price. Then you have the 2002, which is once again, an absolute stunning design. These are four coin sets I'm talking about here, where you're getting the five sovereign and the likes of, and then we have the 2005, I believe, and then the 2012, I think it is. I would love to backtrack and get into these coins and just pick them all up, just for the long-term stack, you know. Um, Royal Mint, the packaging is nice, you know what you're getting. I think it's very strong. You got to pick out of these coins here and the Britannia's obviously if you're picking up the proofs and the gold sets. I personally, just from my own experience and looking about, think the sovereigns can be a strong play. Not that the Britannia's are bad, because they do have years that go on to do fantastic things. But 
you know, it's hard to say. Uh, all, of course, getting these when they first come out now is going to be your best bet. You know, knowing what I know and seeing what I've seen now in the market, when this first came out, I would have picked it up. You know, so that's that's saying something. So come time we get a next anniversary or some type of exclusive coin set, I may be looking at that just because it's got this big bohemoth in. And I think it's a stunning set. I do have the options to grade this. I'm showing the sovereign here. Now, I think on this one coin here, it's the only one that has a bit of a imperfection. You can see that on the cheek, she's blushing a little. So for grading wise, it, it could present a problem. I'm not going to get these graded as of yet. You know, I think they're doing okay raw, but I'll be checking the secondary market to see how well they're doing. I do have the free coin premium sets I can take a proof sovereign out of if I needed to replace it. So that shouldn't really hinder me getting a perfect 70 set as these do look in fantastic condition. So this is the half sovereign here. But like I said, grading, we'll see in the long run. I think this set has potential to go. I would have loved to have been in the older sets, but I'm not going to be paying those. That, that, you're practically paying that if you are absolutely loving your collector. But opportunities do pop themselves up. Like, for instance, me picking up this set here. You know, somebody's mishap or just releasing some fun. They may have many of these. Who knows? But, you know, they do pop up. So I will be looking out for more of these exclusive pieces to add to my long-term stack, especially from the Realm Mint. You know, it's a win-win it's a for myself. But I wanted to show this piece off here as one of the um, high premium gold proof purchases or gold purchases that I've been doing in the current low market as part of my strategy. So, you know, with pieces like this, whether we have a strong market or a weak market, I think they'll easily hold up against, you know, a big dips and go up when we have big spikes and that's part of the reason why these have been included to my long-term stack it's not all just full bullion 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 you know they're definitely a notch above the queen's beast coins that i showed in my last video whereas i think over a period five to ten years from now can i get double the price of this set i think so easily easily a, a seven eight grand nine grand set that's just a set and that's just my own personal way of looking at things since I've been here and what I think spot price will do and the potential I see in these. Um, will I continue? Well, they bring out these um, sets and some type of special design, you know, then I know we've got a lot of factors play a role whether the bullion has the same image and the likes of, but I'll definitely be jumping on board from here. Just, you know, completing some of these big five bad boys. I wouldn't mind having more and more of them, but who knows where it is. But this has just been part of my current game plan and play in this current low spot price market, picking up high premium. Pieces like this are a prime example of what I'm doing to keep the stack growing and going long, long, long with these. I think they'll be fantastic plays. This is a prime example of a piece I'm looking for. Picked up at a bargain price at the time I've picked this up. And I think will go a long, long, long way with me. So it'll be fantastic to hear what you guys think of the strategy. Are you just picking up raw, plain bullion right now in the current uncertain market? Or are you going for more of the high premiums? Definitely a play with silver. But with silver, you still have that issue and worry of, um, you know, them spotting up. And that's not something I want to take on board. There's a lot we're taking into account already. So the last thing I need is a high premium set that I'm heavily invested in developing milk spots and just you know putting a debbie downer on everything so this is going to be the five coin proof sovereign set that i picked up guys It'd be fantastic to know what you think of this and what your current game plan is when regarding high premium pickups in this low um spot market that we're in at the moment so hey i love it guys leave your thoughts in the comments that'd be great to hear go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you guys on the rebound